Hey guys, what's up? Uh, put out a blog post the other day and I figured this was a fitting example to give you guys a little bit of uh, a visual on. The blog post was about not trying or trying to build a, a big business and how to accomplish that, you know, and what I was talking about in the, in the blog post was it's all about the strong foundation. If you don't have a strong foundation, then it's just gonna crumble and you're gonna have to rebuild it. It's gonna crumble and you're gonna have to rebuild it. And I'm hanging out outside, my dog's running around. Um, but I wanted to take this uh, video outside today to give you guys a little bit of context on that. So what I was talking about specifically was in network marketing and building a strong foundation in my network marketing business uh, is really important to focus on community and uh, camaraderie and, you know, things along those lines to keep people engaged and keep them around long enough so they can start to see success. Because some of the stats in network marketing, Eric Worre was just sharing on a live video the other day, is that um, seven out of 10 people who enroll as a distributor in network marketing never enroll one person as a distributor. They might sell some product, but never as a distributor. He went on to say that if you enroll 10 or more people, then that puts you in the top 2% of network marketing. And I thought that was kind of funny because um, I've always thought and taught my team that your goal is to try to enroll 10 people as fast as possible. And the reason behind that was because if you enroll 10 people, you are likely what I figured to find three to five people that are going to start bringing in some other people and help you build some depth in that group, start to build an organization. And hearing his stats, um, they kind of brought that back to clarity or back into clarity for me. So the reason that it's so important to build a strong foundation in your team, and what I mean by that is the community, is because a lot of people don't come into this business ready to go. They don't come in with um, influencer status or you know, huge leveraged networks that they can build upon. You know, a lot of people are just looking for a better way to go and create some money on the side. And then as they start to build their business, as they start to get experience, as they start to go to events, they start to build that vision for what it could really become. And in terms of becoming a massive business and a massive opportunity and being able to make $100,000 a year working from home doing this or $100,000 a month, like some of my mentors working from home doing this business. Um, so having local meetings, even if you're building online, still having some local meetings because it's about face-to-face, -face, it's about building the team, uh, building community. Uh, just like when I worked in restaurants, you know, we were all very, very close because we spent so much time together, right? Uh, same thing with your network marketing business, you wanna be spending time with people. Um, on top of that, building Super Saturdays, uh, which is, um, just a, a weekend Saturday morning training for people to get a little bit of training and perhaps an opportunity meeting in there for them to build and invite guests to and for the guests to see the community that you're involved with and how positive everybody is and how uplifting everybody is and how you can leave that room feeling like a better person. Um, so I'm outside talking to you uh, with the construction stuff in the background because I want to show you what an example of not starting with a good foundation looks like. So this isn't my house, this is my roommate's house him and his girlfriend built and I can't flip the camera around so I'm going to show you guys these boards down here on these little concrete pillars were off the pillars like quite literally they were like halfway off the pillars these joices that you see here and underneath were just a complete mess and Basically, they built this house last year and came back. I'll stand out here in the shade for a sec. And they had to come back this summer to literally rip almost the entire deck off and rebuild the entire thing. And from what Jordan had told me, this was like a $30,000 deck, something outrageous. You know, that's a lot of money in my, in my eyes um, to pay for a deck and then to have them do it wrong and have to come back and do it again. That really sucks. So it's a little real world example of what happens when you don't have a strong foundation. This gorgeous deck that you're seeing behind me here. 
uh, actually I had to get completely redone this year and it's taken these guys multiple weeks to start rebuilding this and they're just about at the point now where it's starting to come back together and it is the 22nd of May and we still don't have a deck one of the most beautiful times of the year to be out on the deck but they're fixing it so there's my dog over there for all you guys meet Maggie she's gonna be in all my videos because she's the best um, but yeah I wanted to share that with you guys I'm gonna toss this up on YouTube and share it in a couple other places but start your business right build a strong foundation build community and you're gonna have something where people are gonna be sticking around for years as they build their personal growth and personal belief in the industry and themselves and being able to grow something that they can leave uh, to their kids and their grandkids uh, an income that is going to pay them well after you're gone if you choose the right company and you build it accordingly so awesome guys i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time